Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are at a fire station. And we have partnered with the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And we are making sure that our kids are safe in their car seats. We have a car seat technician coming to meet us here today to show us everything we need to know about installing our kids' car seats safely. So let's go meet them. Hey, Misael. Hey, how you doing? Jeff? How you doing? Jeff Weiss, good to see you. This is Hi. my wife, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Nice how you doing? Nice to meet you. So we asked you to meet us here today yeah. because over the summer, the girls mm -hmm. have grown a ton. Gemma's two now, Gretchen is six, mm -hmm. and they're back in school, so we just want to make sure that they're super safe in their car seats. Yeah, no problem. We can definitely help you with that. Um, first, I need to observe the seats and see the children inside the seats. Okay, sounds All right. great. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so one issue that I always have is we travel a lot. Mm -hmm. We're always in airplanes and in vehicles, rentals, things like that. Mm -hmm. And I always have trouble tightening it down because as hard as I pull this thing, mm -hmm. I try to sit on it, it, I just feel like it never cinches all the way. Okay, definitely, yeah. I'm gonna remove the car seat and okay. then uh, we'll discuss some, uh, some ways that way we can properly install the car seat in the vehicle. Awesome, thanks. All right. So I'm gonna unhook these on both sides and we'll remove the car seat and we can talk about it. Okay, so again, thank you guys for coming to our appointment. Um, I just wanted to check that the car seat hasn't expired yet. So okay. we want to make sure you're reading these tabs here. As you can see, this car seat was manufactured in July 29th of 2017. So it's still, it's still good. It has a 10 year expiration date for this specific model. Um, okay. If you're unsure of the weight and height limits for the car seat, and you don't have the instruction manual, the good thing is it has the side labels here and it pretty much tells you for each weight and height limit for each position. So That's awesome. You, so you see here for rear facing, for forward facing, and also for the booster mode. Okay, okay great. So I'm gonna go get Gemma for you uh -huh. and let's see if you can show me how to put her in there right. Okay, definitely. All right, here we go. Can you go over? Let's get you in there. Careful for my fanny. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you need to move a little. <laughs> All right, let's get in the car seat like a big girl. Okay, so we want, what we want to make sure is we want to make sure that these shoulder straps are at or just below her shoulder level. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure her. And as you can see, that's at or just below. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it in that position. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to adjust her. We're just going to practice adjusting uh, Gemma here. Okay. I did a buckle. Okay, in a second. See, she knows all about buckling. Good job, Gemma. Can you do it? You can do it. Big girl. Good oh. job. Wow. So when I, when I want to make sure that the child is snug in the car seat, and what we want to do is uh, pass the pinch test. We don't want to pinch any strap, uh, strap material at the shoulders. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to okay. adjust this slowly. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for a snug fit, okay? So what I want to do is I want to see if I can pinch any, uh, any, any strap material, which I can't. So That's how you know it's the, right. the pinch test, it passes. And what we want to do as well is we want to adjust the chest buckle to make sure it's at upper chest or armpit level. Okay. So you kind of just Move this up right there, and she's good to go. Safe. You're good. Yay. 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 You did it. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. All right, who wants to drive? Me. All right. Me. So this is the Booster seat for your six-year-old, correct? Yeah, we actually just got this because we had noticed that her previous booster was expired. Okay, yeah. great decision, yes. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to make sure that the, uh, that the car seat is compliant for the weight and uh, height limit for the child. Mm -hmm. And you can locate the weight and height limits on, this, on these uh, instructions here. Mm -hmm. And um, so normally what you would find is that it'd be the, just the base of the booster. Yeah. 
Um, most this is her old one was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most people get freaked out when they see this back support. They don't know what to do with it. But this is great because it's a belt positioner. Um, oh. And you can put the, uh, the shoulder belt through it. To make it the right height. Mm-hmm, correct. So just make sure it's clicked and it locks. And what we want to do is invite uh, your six-year-old daughter here. Want to help us out here? <laughs> Our little specialist, you want to sit down? Get you all sized up here. And we want to make sure that this belt positioner here, you see these little uh, plastic tabs here on the side? Yeah. There's one on here and one on the other side. Uh, I want to just play around with it and see exactly where it should be at for her, okay. for her height. So if you can see here, let's just increase it one more right there. Oh, so that's just perfect. above her shoulder level. Perfect. And this is where the shoulder belt will be routed through. Okay. Uh, and the shoulder will run through the center of her chest and the lap portion of the seat belt will be uh, under, th under the hips. So, okay. yeah, so that's, awesome. and we'll make sure to do that when we're in the vehicle, okay? All right, sounds great. You like your new car seat, Gretchen? Yeah. You love a cup holder? Two. <laughs> Two, Two cup, cup holders. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, route this to the belt positioner here. Okay. And that way we know that it's resting above her shoulder. All right, hop up. All right, show me how it's done. Okay, so what you wanna do is grab that lap and shoulder belt. Wanna make sure that the lap portion of it goes under the armrest here. Okay. And you wanna, do, wanna make sure that it goes under the armrest as well, under here. And you wanna just buckle it up. Thank you, Gretchen. And you want to make sure that it's above her shoulder. Okay. It's going to the middle of her chest, and the lap portion of the seatbelt is over the hips. And buckle. And that's pretty much it. All right, looks great. All right, John, he's putting in the car seat for you here. Okay, so what you want to do first, before I even uh, uh, install the car seat, I want to make sure that I have the correct angle recommended for the rear facing position okay. for this particular car seat. And as you can see, it's perfectly centered right now. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. So now what I'm going to do is you told me that you like to use the lower anchors. That's it. Okay, so we're going to identify the lower anchors in our vehicle. Make sure they click. And this is the part I always have trouble with is cinching it as tight as I can on that side. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to teach you a little secret. For this particular car seat, I've noticed that it's a lot easier. Instead of pulling out the latch strap, you want to pull in towards you. Oh just to get leverage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some weight on here and then I'm gonna pull that latch strap towards me. Have you seen him install this? He's doing a good job. He's gonna make you super safe. Okay. And now we wanna verify that it's properly installed and we know that it's properly installed when we can't move the car seat uh, more than one inch side to side or up and down from the vehicle bell path. So okay. as you can see, oh, yeah, it does nice. not move yes. at all. Super snug. And perfectly centered still. Pretty good. Pretty good. You ready to go in? All right, let's get you buckled in. Okay. I get buckled. Yep, I'll do this and then you can get the top. There you go. Can you get the top? Yeah. Let's make sure it's over your shoulder. Perfect. Now let's let Misael make sure that it's good on your on your chest there. Okay. Good job buckling and harnessing her. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to adjust the harness adjuster. And remember what we're looking for is we can't pinch any strap material at the shoulders, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit more. So notice that I can't pinch any strap material yeah, at the shoulders. Perfect. Just um, like before. Uh -huh. And we want to make sure that the chest buckle is at upper chest or armpit level. So Looks just good. Like that. Yeah. How's that feel? Feels good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Get your hands there. Oh yeah, and we got what do you think? It's heavy, huh? So we just got our car seats checked. Thank you so much to Misael for helping us with our installation, making sure everything was good to go. I learned a lot of really new things that are really cool. Like I didn't know about the pinch test thing to check the straps. Yeah, like that's either. pretty cool. The thing that I did not know at all was when you're trying to cinch, I, I kind of like kneel on the car seat, I'm holding <laughs> it down, I'm trying to pull it up. But if you pull it back up kind of into it, it really gives you the leverage to tighten your seat. 
So that was my biggest takeaway, was how to make it tight. Because every time yeah. we're traveling all that, we're moving the car seat around, all I'm always time. wrestling with this thing. I can't get it tight enough, but now I have the trick. To make sure that your kids are properly secured and in the right car seat, and to find a technician, go to nhtsa.gov slash the right seat. And we're gonna link that down in the description box as well, so make sure you go down there and check it out. And I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you yeah. so much for watching. This was really cool. We learned a lot, and I guess we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.